Okay, so week eight for CIT 93, and um, I graded um, all the submissions. I graded most of the submissions from Develop It 2 on Friday, and it was so fun to see some of the cool stuff that you all did. A couple of you need to get back to me again with questions, and this is a good process. I've I've thought about it. Is that you know, especially on these develop want these develop items, is that um, making sure I understand and I haven't missed something in looking at your project. So it's really important that you get back to me on a timely manner. And I think it's only a couple of you at this point that need to reply back to me. And you can either do it in the post or email me, but make sure you get back to me so that I can grade your work accordingly. And so like I said, some really fun stuff that I saw uh, last time. So uh, this week, uh, no video for this one. Uh, this is, I believe, our last JavaScript, um, purely just JavaScript free code camp. Then we'll move on to some of the OOP, the object oriented programming, and other things on free code camp. Uh, but this week, uh, also in your code up, uh, your code along or code up in this case, I have done something and added a little something to the work that you need to do. And I'm highly considering. Um, adding uh, in some of these to actually have you work, do some project related stuff, thinking and taking these concepts and creating things because I think it just is too long between the time that you actually cover the concept and you actually need to build something based on that. That's the one thing that I saw here was that um, in grading some of the work, some of the pieces that I felt should have been in the code weren't there and I thought about reasons why and it's like I want to actually have a little more uh, a little more timely translation of concept to skill. So you're going to see me do that uh, throughout this. Uh, so the other thing I will tell you is that for those of you thinking of moving on to 94, uh, if you look in the schedule, my name isn't on 94, but it will be soon. Uh, and that will be taught on a Wednesday night on, at Fresno City campus. There will be times you have to come into the classroom, but it will be run somewhat like this class uh, as well, to where you can do some of the work outside. Um, but there will be, and instead of, uh, there will be code ups, but there will also be more challenges and more code, what we call code reviews, traditional code reviews in that case. So think about that. So next semester on Wednesday, CIT 94, Node.js, um, again, the server side version of JavaScript or the server side use of JavaScript. So check that out. Uh, keep that in mind. This is, uh, we're moving into our mid part of the semester, FYI. And this is the point that you have to make a decision uh, whether you're going to stay or go. And most of you, this is not really a decision you need to think about because you're doing great. For those of you that are, and there's only a couple that are a little behind, um, next third next Friday um, is the last time to drop this class. So I just want to make sure you understand that. And FYI, next week I am traveling. So in week nine, so we're in week eight. And weeknight, I leave for New York on the 12th and won't be back until the 16th. So if you want to chat with me, um, I'm definitely, I love it when students come by and chat with me from this class, really any online class, because it really gives me a chance to see, you know, and talk to students, which is awesome. But I will be gone uh, until the following um, Tuesday. So I leave Thursday, won't be on campus. Last day I'll be on campus is the 11th until the 17th that I'll be back. So just keep that in mind so that you understand if you need something where to find me. All right, have a great one. Re or watch and reply.